And welcome back. Let's take a look at the Storm Team 10 Storm Tracker. And you don't, well, you don't have to really look too far to find areas of snow. Now, what I find interesting are these little uh, lighter color areas here. This is a, a very a little different color than the blues and the different shades of blue that you see here. And, and so what this indicates to me is that there could be maybe just a little bit of sleep mixed up with this as you get a little layer of somewhat warmer air in the atmosphere. The same thing happens over in the middle part of Illinois. And it could also happen down here along Highway 50. And so because of that, we not only have the possibility of snow, which is really coming down quite heavily, as I say, a little more than an inch an hour. We also have the prospects of maybe some of that mixing up with some sleet or freezing rain, especially farther to the south. Here's a look at the Storm Team 10 future cast. This is midnight tonight, so it snows through the course of the nighttime, but notice how it lightens up somewhat as we get toward the morning hours. So it may not snow as heavily all night as it is right now. And uh, what I think is going to happen is as we get over the next several hours, the snow intensity may ease up a little bit, uh, not completely. It's not going to stop snowing, but it may ease up a little bit, maybe start to snow at a little less rate than what we're having right now. This is tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. We still have the prospect a very good chance of snow tomorrow morning, but not as heavy as we do now. Meteorologist Lindsay Monroe will have information for you tomorrow morning. Brittany will be here. They'll have a lot to talk about and let you know about tomorrow morning on News 10 this morning. Then we get to noon tomorrow and I still think there'll be the possibility of snow showers around through the course of the day tomorrow and it looks like snow could last even into the early hours of tomorrow evening. Maybe some lingering flurries. Now I mentioned last night that I didn't expect this storm to be as bad as the one we had the 1st of January. I'm going to hold to that, but I want to say that uh, we still are going to have breezy conditions. It's not going to be quite as windy as it was. Rather than 30 mile per hour wind, we might have a wind gusting of maybe 20 miles per hour or so. And we have cold air coming in, but it's not going to come in quite as quickly. So that may allow some snow removal a little more quickly than what we had last time. Here's tomorrow night at 6 p.m. We get into the overnight hours. Tomorrow night, the snow gets out of here. We get into the day on Thursday, maybe a few breaks in the clouds, maybe a little bit of sunshine, and then uh, it's going to be cold after that. So uh, temperature and uh, well, the actual uh, precipitation potential is 5 to 8 inches of snow across the News 10 viewing area. We're already up to 3 inches here now. Higher amounts farther to the north, a little lower amounts farther to the south, but that's where you get some sleet and freezing rain along with that. It's 23 degrees in Terre Haute now, 20 in Rockville. The wind is 16 miles per hour right out of the northeast, and now we have wind gusts to think about. 22 miles per hour, Casey 19, Rockville 14, Vincennes a 26 mile per hour gust. And so wind chill is becoming a factor, and so travel certainly has to be done with caution. 21 degrees, snow likely, maybe a snow sleep mix farther to the south. 21 is not all that cold for tonight, but then snow tapering off and blowing snow during the day tomorrow, high of 27. Cloudy turning much colder tomorrow night, an overnight low of 1. And the seven day forecast, we struggle to reach 9 degrees on Thursday with some sunshine, down to 2 degrees below zero for Thursday night, and then Friday, a high of 17. This is a serious storm. Again, I don't think it's going to be quite as bad as the one we had the 1st of January, but it's coming close.